when I was a corporate manager of Fairchild Industries in 1974 through 77, I met the late Dr. Werner von Braun in early 74. At that time, von Braun was dying of cancer, but he assured me that he would live a few more years in order to tell me about the game that was being played, that game being the effort to weaponize space, to control the earth from space and space itself. Von Braun's purpose in life during the last years of his life, his dying years, was to educate the public and decision makers about why space-based weapons are a dumb, dangerous, destabilizing, too costly, unnecessary, unworkable, undesirable idea. The strategy that Werner Von Braun taught me was that first the Russians are going to be considered to be the enemy. In fact, when I met him in 74, they were the enemy, the identified enemy. We were told that they had killer satellites, we were told that they were coming to get us and control us, the dirty commies, that whole story. First the Russians were the enemy against whom we're going to build space-based weapons. Then terrorists would be identified and that was soon to follow. We heard a lot about terrorism. Then we were going to identify third world country crazies. We now call them nations of concern. But he said that would be the third enemy against whom we would be needing to build space-based weapons. And the next enemy was asteroids. Now at this point, he kind of chuckled the first time he said it. Asteroids against asteroids were going to build space-based weapons. So it was funny then. And the funniest one of all was against what he called aliens, extraterrestrials. That would be the final card. And over and over and over during the four years that I knew him and was giving his speeches for him, he would bring up that last card and remember, Carol, the last card is the alien card. We're going to have to build space-based weapons against aliens and all of it, he said, is a lie. He didn't mention a timeline, but he said that it was going to be speeding up faster than anybody could possibly imagine. That the effort to put weapons in space was not only based on a lie, but would accelerate past the point of people even understanding it until it was already up there and too late. In 1977, I was at a meeting in Fairchild Industries in a conference room called the War Room. This is 1977, and they were talking about creating a war in the Gulf region when there was $25 billion in the space-based weapons program that yet had not been identified. It wasn't called the Strategic Defense Initiative, at least, until 1983. This weapon system then had obviously been going on for some time that I didn't know anything about. So I stood up in this meeting in 1977 and it said, I'd like to know why we're talking about space-based weapons against these enemies. I'd like to know more about this. Would somebody tell me what this is about? Nobody answered. They went on with this meeting as though I hadn't said anything. 